Eric has been coming here a long time, and I thought he did an excellent job based on what we had talked about a few meetings ago, is providing an introduction to what you're going to talk about, where you are in your book, and how it relates to your progress. So currently he's working on the Speaking to Inform book, and he worked on the second speech, Resources for Informing. So what method did he use? He used the standard method. Tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. And I thought you did an excellent job at that. You came up here and you told us that you were going to tell us the four key ingredients to beer. Now, when you're giving a presentation, one of the things that you wanna know is, is this relevant to the group? So, how many beer drinkers do we have? Well, according to Gallup, 64% of the population has an occasion to partake in alcohol. And out of that 64%, 36% say that they drink beer. So if you look at the size of our group here, according to those statistics, it would be about two people. However, your enthusiasm overtakes those statistics in my opinion. Because you were enthusiastic about telling us about beer, you love beer. For those of us who's known you for a long time, we know that you produce your own beer. And so I think it was a perfect topic for you. One thing that threw me off a little bit was when you put up your slides, which I thought were excellent, excellent slides. They were clear, they were bright, there was not a lot of words on them, and so we had to listen to what you said. But you put up your water slide, and you had very little things to say about water, which, I mean, really, how much can you really say about water? <laughs> but then you put up your malt slide, and when you put up your malt slide, you gave us a lot of different things about malt. And not knowing how to make beer myself, I was a little bit confused when you got to mash because I was like, well, is mash the third ingredient or is, are we still on malt? But to your credit, you cleared that up right away because when you put up your hop slide, you said, and number three is hops. So great job there because I was only confused for a short while, which is a good thing. <laughs> Another thing that I liked that you did was you could tell that you did the research. You were using words that you could hardly pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was sarcomesis something. Oh my. <laughs> what you did very, very well was, this was when you were talking about yeast and the microscopic organism that it is, is you took that difficult word and you made it easy for us. You put up the picture of the little smiley face yeast. <laughs> and then you said, in goes the sugar, out comes the energy, the carbon dioxide, the alcohol. Well, we can all understand that. And so in that little instance, which you did it more than once, you took something that was very difficult, scientific, researched, and converted it into something that everyone can understand, even if we're not beer drinkers. Great job there. I thought your use of the PowerPoint was good. You didn't stand in front of the, the podium. You stood to the side, you referenced, and you went from both sides. So great job there. And lucky for you, you had no technical difficulties. And that's what we strive here. Because we're all trying to be able to use the little clicker and be able to get our PowerPoint up there. I struggle with it, I keep trying, but you obviously have accomplished it. I thought all in all, it was a very good speech. Excellent.